morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And look who's with me. Who is this? Taylor. It's Taylor. Looks <laughs> like you're supposed to introduce me. All right. So we're supposed to work together, which is like the card that we're looking at today. Working together. Yes. All right. So Taylor is looking at the Kawhi Tarot cards with us. And this is, I'm going to go over here because you're over in my face. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> All right, this is a goofy one. We're just having fun. All right, so the Kawhi Tarot is one of Taylor's decks, and I'm super glad that she lent it to us for the month to take a look at. And we're looking at the Two of Cups today. And I actually think that this, yours, your Two of Cups is far superior to my, to my Tarot Cups, I would just like to say. Because, number one, cups are representative of what element? Water. Yes, and what does yours have that mine is very much lacking? Water. Yes. So your little characters are porpoises or dolphins, or something of that nature. Narwhals? Nar no, they're not narwhals. They don't have horns. They well, don't maybe have they lost their horns. Oh my gosh. Anyway, did you know that a narwhal horn is actually their tooth? No, I didn't. Yes. Creepy. Anyway, so <laughs> they are holding their two cups and they are swimming round and round. I think the only way this card would have been better is if they were like little sea otters, because sea otters like hold hands and stuff and that would be super representative of this card. I do like, I will say, I do like the font on this deck. We all know I'm like big about font. It's on a little ribbon so you can see it very clearly. It says two of cups. So even though you can't see the cups very well, like you can see on mine, and you can tell that it's two of cups. What does the two of cups represent to you, Taylor? Um partnerships i suppose you could also look at like a romantic sense oh, yeah that's true um maybe if you want to overanalyze maybe like duality balance mm -hmm. people coming together cooperation all those, yeah. yeah all those things and do you think that your card represents those things yes i think so because it's like I don't know how to describe it. It's like, you can tell just by the way they're formatted, they're kind of like showing off balance. Because, I know where you're going with this. Yin and yang? Yin and yang, yes. So yours, again, mine's got the, the caduceus in the center, but yours does have that yin yang thing going on. And there's definite movement in that card. I think one of the things I like best about that card is that you can see the movement in the waves, that they're not just like floating in one place, they are circling each other, which means there's always constant movement. It is a push-pull sort of thing, and they are helping each other out just to keep moving and things like that. I really like this card. I really like, so far I've really liked all of the cards in the Kwai Tarot. I would say that for a beginner deck, it's a good one to use. Taylor is at that weird spot where she's memorized a lot of the cards and is not quite looking at them as symbolism. You're looking at them as, I know this card because I know it. And that's a weird place to be when you start learning. So that's, that's probably why you're like, but it is. It just is the Two of Cups. I know this. And Two of Cups is one that we look at a lot. We're also talking about the lover's card all month at Tarot Cafe, and this is kind of the lesser lover's card. So when we think of partnerships and union, this being the lovers in the minor arcana or in the pip cards, it still represents that union, but it's more about the union of souls and two individuals and less that greater consciousness sort of thing. So, yes. I like it. Also, I get the whole, you know, so long and thanks for all the fish on all this, but Taylor's not quite as geeky as I am. Anyway, <laughs> until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Taylor's like so done with me.